Okay, comic book junkies, uh, Night Tiger coming at you this morning with a three-fold video. I'm going to show um, what prizes I'm going to be giving away in the 1000K celebration that's coming up September 6th. If you haven't seen the promo, I suggest you go back and watch it. It's really awesome and as funny as heck. But uh, this is an unboxing, uh, so I'm going to show the prizes, packages, talk about that. And also want to talk about, if you haven't heard, DC is canceling a bunch of titles in November, no longer, and we'll unpackage this while we're talking about it. So I have it here in front of me. So if you haven't heard already, Harley Quinn, Batgirl, Red Hood, Outlaw, Batman, and the Outsiders, Justice League, Odyssey have been canceled. Then in November, we're getting uh, cancellations of Hawkman, Hellblazer, Teen Titans, Young Justice, Suicide Squad. They still haven't made any announcements for Aquaman. Now, the thing about this is, we they're not saying what's going to happen. They're canceling, they're scaling down 20-25%. A lot of the top uh, guys at DC are being fired out of the editorial pool. And they're not telling us what's going to happen. They're going to try to make a bigger digital presence with their books. Jim Lee does say that their main focus is storytelling still. But we don't know if we're getting new titles starting at the beginning of the year with number ones. We don't know if we'll ever see these titles again. So that for me is, is a factor in wanting to maybe pick up some of these last issues. Who knows uh, if the print run is going to be lower. If we'll ever see these characters in print again. By DC, they might be licensed by another company in the future. Nobody knows. They're not telling us. I would say I'm going to pick up the last issues of these titles, even though I don't buy new comics, because it could be an, it, they could be historical issues. Okay, so what I got here is another. Oh, let me pause this for a second. Okay, so I prepped for this video, but I prepped on the side of the prize packages, thinking this was another book that was coming in. This is a Golden Age book. I thought it was a key Marvel book. So let's see what it is. You know that I love to collect Golden Age. I didn't have this one. I'm going to take it out of here because it's in a really old yellow bag. So this is Headline Comics number 13. A little bit of a horror cover. Now I collect these early ones. I'm trying to go from 1 to 29. Yeah, from 1 to 29. The later ones from 23 to 29 are Jack and Joe covers. But these are Junior Ranger from 1 to 22. This is from 1943. No, I'm sorry, 45. I didn't have that one. It is a low grade. These aren't very easy to find. They're not extremely rare, but they are kind of scarce. So what I didn't prep was I wanted to show when I got this, and it's missing a coupon back there, the collection that I have. So I quickly tried to find these as fast as I could. I'm, I'm missing several that I couldn't locate right away. So I had number four from 1943. And then I have 15. Um, this next one is a huge key. First atomic superhero in comics ever. So it cost me a little bit of money. It's number 16. Unfortunately, he's not on the cover on this issue. But he is on the cover of 17. So that's the first cover appearance of Atomic Man. Number 20. Number 21. And I believe the next issue is the last Junior Rangers. I don't have it. There's a one Hitler cover in here that is extremely hard to get for for cheap. You got the you have to pay quite. I think a lot of people are asking a thousand dollars for that book. So I may or may never get it. I don't know. Anyway, so we're talking about DC. So we got historical things going on here. Like I, I'm not going to go back over everything that I said, uh, but you know they did fire Dan DiDio. Uh, earlier this year so the 5g is not being rolled out 
and that was where they were going to change all the major superheroes into um what do they call those uh i don't know jsws or woke superheroes so that technically is off the board we haven't heard so we don't know what's going on so i suggest for november that you pre-order all these issues i'm gonna grab i mean especially the ones like uh the young teen titans um Constantine, many of them that have been mainstays, Hawkman in Teen Titans, Suicide Squad, that have been the mainstay in the DNC universe for quite a while. We may never see them back in print in hard floppy. So I'm thinking, and my suggestion is grab those. So prize packages quickly. So let's start out with the lesser one. Oh, I just want to show this before. I did pick this up today or yesterday at Ollie's. This is a normally more than a $50 book. So they have them for $12.99. They have the Silver Age there. They have a lot of other hardcover books. Check my Instagram. I did put some of that on there. They have quite a few trade paperbacks. I mean, a lot. And, and they're really, really great prices. I picked this up, like I said, for $12.99. And I'm in the process of reading it. Fascinating stuff on the history. The, the history, the complete early history of, of DC Comics. And, and it says right here, 400 color pages in here. For $12.99, you cannot go wrong with this. And, and it, you can even work out with it. That's how heavy it is. Okay, so on with the prize. So we're going to have a main prize. Now I'm going to do my best. I'm still working out how we're going to choose this. I want to get everyone that's part of the comic book community to be able to be involved in getting chosen to have a shot at these prizes so second runner up third runner up will get a hardcover copy of brian boland's art i have a personal one this is really good oh the, it's just stunning stuff in here and good history on the artist so there's one for third prize one for second prize this will be okay this will be a prize okay so whoever wins we're gonna have a battle like a game show type thing with trivia four channels whoever wins that is gonna choose the main winner and I haven't decided how we're gonna choose two and three but it'll be random picks this is gonna be my random pick my personal one this will go out to another channel so we got Miles Morales Halloween comic fest issue number zero which is a $10 copy uh, Venom number one. This ranges from ten to twenty dollars. It's near mint. Betty and Veronica, Adam Hughes cover, like a ten dollar book. Also, Long Shot number one. A beautiful Brian Bolin cover, very sexy. From Green Arrow number thirty two. Uh, first full appearance of Ninjak in Bloodshot Comics, number seven. And then Spider-Man Unlimited, number one. So that is going to be just a, a side package giveaway. So the main prize. Oh, and we're also going to have whoever shows up in the chat will be able to be put in a hat and drawn for a $10 uh, per PayPal. So if you don't have a PayPal and you plan on being in the chats that night at September 6th, get a PayPal, make a PayPal, and you'll get $10 for free if you're chosen. And then this is the main prize package. So let's do this and we'll... So again, um, the main prize package will include Spider-Man Unlimited number one. And first of all, Ninjak, you will get a, uh, Richard Dragon, number five, first appearance of Lady Shiva. And this is probably uh, eight, eight, five copy. Not, it's really nice. It's, it's, not, it's not near mint, but De uh, Dark Knight's Metal, number one. Uh, I don't know what cover this is. But this is the first issue that started the, the Dark Knight's Metal series from DC. Then you'll get a Son of Satan, number one. 
and this is probably could be a 8590 copy and then you're gonna get the Venom number seven this is a $20 book uh, what is this first cameo of Dylan Brock I don't remember you're gonna get that and then and then you're gonna get this Iron Man Submariner number one this is probably a 5.5 copy and it's all attached I think it's pretty tight and nothing's loose so that is gonna be the main prize right there so like I said we're gonna have main prize second third I'm gonna do another giveaway at the end of the show or something or maybe at the beginning I don't know a $10 win in the chat so if you're in the chat you get a free $10 PayPal win so those are the prizes uh, appreciate you all hanging out with me today checking out the unboxing um, like I said run out order your November releases for these last issues um, I did forget to mention that DC Comics is moving all their shows to HBO Max which unfortunately for me it's not good because I don't watch anything on HBO just because of the content. But it is what it is. That's the news. And I'm just reporting it. Thanks for hanging out. Go back and check that promo if you haven't seen it. And you'll love it. This is Night Tiger. Say peace. Have a great weekend. The Marvel Universe. Alex, I take superheroes for one billion dollars. Lawrence. Steve. You're all going down. Oh, yeah, but I've been hearing that this free jabroni down there called Roger Steve and Lawrence been shouting their mouths off about beating me. Me and trivia. No one's gonna beat this British bad boy. I've been reading my cold, taking my vitamins and stuff, and I'm gonna win. And you're going down, down, down. Alright Lawrence, alright Ned Rod, alright Grey Man, I'm coming at you, I'm coming giving you a one two. Comics channel. The winner could be you.